If language could be a part of every day, we could, we could revitalize our language. country or I guess globally, uh, the native languages are being lost. Think about the next seven generations. Honoring our Squamish language is so vital for our children and grandchildren to have a strong foundation so that they can communicate with our ancestors, what we call our Squamchit. Because language is is our uh, spirit. It's very uh, sacred. Revitalize First Nations language because that's where our teachings come from. It makes me feel proud. And an empowered, strong, uh, indigenous person who knows their language and their culture and their traditional ways of being and knowing is a really powerful individual that contribute to society and to the world in a healthy way. taking time to understand who you are, where you're going, and how you're going to get there through the Kitxan language. As a residential school survivor of three uh, generations in my family alone, that the language is very important also as an educator to tell our stories in our first language and as learning and bringing these uh, teachings down to our, uh, our future generations. And I believe that uh, learning the language begins at home. So, what I do is I create apps for First Nation communities and tribal councils to keeping our language alive would be push notifications for the word of the day. Word of the day, including a link to a YouTube video, maybe it's with an elder or an audio. I can click on it, I can listen. And for these kids to learn the language, we have to start small and they're the small kids that we have to start with.